Here's some good advice for uh, being involved with your kids' wrestling practices. Now, this doesn't really pertain to high school because the high school coaches don't allow parents there. And uh, probably if the parents showed up in practice, the kids would get made fun of because daddy's there or mommy's there. And then the kids would tell you not to show up. But at the youth level, we see it. Some practices, they allow parents in the room. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think a lot of it just depends on on the kids and the parents themselves. But as a general rule, I, I liked watching my kids in their sports. Of course, once they got in high school, I couldn't anymore except for the competitions. But um, a good rule of thumb, especially at the youth and middle school level, because it is a team effort, you do want to be there and see what's going on. And they're not 17 years old yet. You know, they're 14, they're 12, they're, they might be six years old. So how about this? How about you watch the first 10 minutes of practice, the warm-ups and some drills, then you watch the last 10 minutes of practice, and watch a little bit of the live wrestling, and the, pretty much the middle two hours, go sit in the hallway, go to Starbucks. If you live close, go back home, pick them back up. Um, I've noticed over the years <coughs> that some kids, we want to avoid tension in athletics. When you're tense, you don't compete, you don't perform. Whether you're swinging a baseball bat, wrestling, trying to give a talk or a speech, I mean, teaching a subject in front of a class, I mean, you can go down the list. And sometimes if the parents are causing tension, the kids don't do well, and the parents say, I gotta be there because when, you know, I don't like what I see. And so they wanna get more involved when really oftentimes they can be the ones that are causing the issue to begin with. So diagnose that, that's not always the case, as I say all the time to our parents. Everything that you said to your son or daughter was correct. It's just that your kids have a filter. I can say the same sentence you said and they see it as coaching. When you say when you say it, they perceive it as criticism because you're their parent. So maybe you can't say anything even if it's the right thing because they have this little filter. So sometimes it's not the parent. I, I, I always laugh at everyone likes to bash parents in, in sports. It's kind of like the new, new thing, which I think is absolutely silly. I hardly see it. You know, I think it's all just kind of drummed up. Um, but there are some issues, obviously, and we could probably find a few on YouTube if you wanted to, you know, to create some chaos or whatever. But for the most part, um, what I'm talking about is doing what's best so I can be involved with my son or daughter's wrestling. I get to see what's going on. They get to see that I support them. Then they get to see that I trust them because I'm going to leave. Then they know that, hey, the last 10 minutes of practice, dad or mom's going to come and watch. And it just seems to be kind of the perfect formula. And what happens is if we are creating tension, then our kids will also carry that over into matches. And most importantly, if you're, I know a college coach, a very famous one, extremely famous, he doesn't coach his son Matt's side in the college tournaments because he says, my son looks at me. He always looks for eye contact and I don't want him to. I want him just to focus on, it's called having a task brain. Focus on the next task. And this is in a lot of the videos on, on our YouTube channel. We discuss a lot of these things, so you can you can you should listen to all of them. I think, but you know, I want him to focus on scoring next or what he needs to do to win the match. But he looks at me, so this guy goes. He even hides kind of behind the bleachers a little bit. Um, so if if your kids are ones who stare at you during practice, or if you require eye contact, you got your little sign language. I've got a few parents over the years the kids always end up right in front of them and I know the parents are like when it comes time for live wrestling I want you right here I don't allow it I'm like hey get over here Russell, I'll even move them way over to the corner you know um, because I know that the kids only getting probably 50% of the practice uh, uh, the, the improvement out of the practice that you know that that they should be getting so if 
those are issues that you have, maybe you can't hold back or your kids can't hold back and they got to constantly stare at you and break concentration or if there's any tension from any of you or together, remove yourself. The first 10 minutes, last 10 minutes, and then they're going to be fine. And uh, I have a friend who wrestled at Stanford, and he says, my kids' sports is not my entertainment. I love watching them and supporting them. And sure, it is fun to go watch you know, them compete and, and even practice. But my number one source of entertainment, I'm there just to support them. They're not my entertainment. And most importantly, their failures aren't my failures. Their success aren't my success. I have my own success and my own goals in my life and my leading by example um, goals. If my kids succeed, it's theirs. If they fail, it's theirs. Now I can help them along the way, but I try to maintain that, that, that line. And um, you know, I think he has a lot of things figured out. Uh, so there's some pretty good insight watch the first 10 minutes of practice last 10 minutes and I think I think the relationship and I just think that your kids wrestling is going to progress so much more nicely and you're probably going to enjoy it more and so will they so um, if that makes sense to you take that advice I guarantee you it will help please subscribe share this check us out at perlerwrestling.com we have competition camps coming up one weekend a month, overnight camps at our 15,000 square foot training center uh, just next to Winsville, Missouri, right in the very middle of the United States. So we have kids from all over America coming and uh, summer camps, you name it. We, we kind of got it all going. So check us out, perlerwrestling.com and uh, good luck this year.